So I was wrestling a little bit with what to do for a Valentine's Day post. Uh, and it wasn't until I kind of started thinking about my Valentine, who is, is my bride. And that word bride is the thing that led me to what I felt like I wanted to post uh, for, this, uh, for this subject. Uh, the base of kind of my pyramid on the business side, I, I have my hands in several pots, but one of the real foundational things I do is do a lot of speaking on leadership, high performance teams, culture, uh, to corporate America. So I'll do it for disparate groups of different background of, of, of industries and organizations, big, big main stage events with thousands of people down to small, small executive teams. And I can't think of a single one of those events where I don't at some point touch on a story about my bride and I always refer to her with that in name. And I get asked probably equally to the concepts and ask, axioms that I talk about in the leadership or human performance or culture space as much as why I call my bride my bride uh, from both guys and gals at those events. So I thought I might unpack that for a minute. I'll keep it quick, uh, but I want to talk about that. About a decade ago, uh, I heard a World War II veteran talk about his sadly deceased um, gal, but he referred to her as his bride. And I, I, I never forgot that. Then I ran into a SEAL teammate um, not long after that who also referred to his bride as his bride. And I was like, that is the deal. I'm going to adopt that. And so I've, I've used it ever since. The unbelievable kind of resounding feedback I've received from doing that has been overwhelming. And I think there's something important happening there. In my sense, relationships kind of go along a timeline of about something like this. Uh, you're dating and then you become boyfriend and girlfriend and maybe take it a little more serious. The next quantum leap into a big jump is, is engagement, right? Becoming engaged. And, and that's, that's a real piece of the pie once you get there that you, you've achieved a new status. And that lasts for a, a, a wonderful period of time until the actual day of. And the day of, it feels like they become your bride. And then everything the day after that, in my mind, I have no problem with somebody calling their lady their wife, but it seems far below that singular status of that given day of your bride and that that's a special thing to think of them in that light and to think of them that way so I've maintained that I will never go back from that she is going to be my bride until the day we hopefully transition into the next life together and wake up on the other side uh, uh, holding hands but um, I just wanted to kind of explain why I do that I think it shows tremendous respect I think it's something that means a lot to her I absolutely don't have a, uh, a copyright or an ownership of that. I tell everybody I know, when you hear me say it, you should adopt it as well. I think it's something that means a lot uh, to the gals that get uh, referenced that way and kind of related to in that way. And I think it helps keep, you know, words have power and, and they really do connect to the way you think of someone. And, and uh, my bride and I have been together for now approaching two decades. I'll say this at a hotel lobby um, registration, and they'll say, oh, wonderful, when'd you get married? Think it was in the week, and I'll say, you know, 14 years ago, and we've been together 20, and it's kind of a showstopper. So, to my bride, happy Valentine's Day. You are hands down the foundation of this family and the true class in the Denver Act.